wasn't like super anxious. It's a boy for sure. I was ready for it to be freezing cold, rainy, jury weather. I'm just, I get, I'm just getting more and more excited for this trip. I think this might be the one that I wear at my shower. I've rolled out some of the dough. Pulled these out of the oven. Here are my two bags that I'm going to take with me. Jared and I had our ultrasound appointment at 7 a.m. this morning. So I just got back from that and I'm eating some cereal. But it went really well, it was really fun. It took like an hour and a half, which was longer than we expected. But um, just a lot of time we like measure every little part of your baby. Um, and so everything looks good. I hadn't seen the baby since our eight week ultrasound. So I wasn't like super anxious, but I kind of feel like, okay, now that I've seen that everything's okay and like I've I don't know, I never like saw the baby that looked like a human and I guess I just thought like maybe the baby's deformed or something like that. But I feel like I can let myself be even more excited now. So, um, I got lots of pictures. Um, it's a boy for sure. There was one really cute picture. Where is it? He was like waving at the camera. It's fun. It's super cute. I've been checking the weather for Amsterdam every week this year, probably. And it's been like rain, snow, wind forecast. Like constantly. Like maybe a sunny day here and there. But look at the weather for next week. Look at this. All sunny skies. I can't even believe it. I'm just like, I was ready for it to be freezing cold, rainy, jury weather. I mean, that's the price you pay for traveling at such a cheap time. It's gonna bring my pea coat, and I'm just, I get, I'm just getting more and more excited for this trip. I've been working most of the morning since our appointment, and now I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Um, I found these raviolis from Trader Joe's. I'm really into these. Um, this one is the Italian sausage ravioli. Um, so I'm just gonna make myself a few of those and eat them. Pink Blush was nice enough to send these to me. And I'm really excited because I've been wanting to find the perfect pair of overalls. And um, I'm excited. So I got two pairs of maternity overalls and then two maternity dresses from Pink Blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these on really quick because I think I might take either one or both of the overalls to Amsterdam. Okay, so here is the first pair of overalls I got. Um, I'm gonna turn it back up so you can see it all the way. Um, they're pretty loose. I was kind of expecting more like a sweatpants material. They're cute. I love these. Um, so these are high-waisted overalls. Here you can kind of see the full. But they're super comfortable and I think that they're really cute. And honestly, like, I think when I'm not pregnant, these will be good too. Like, because they'll, they kind of zip up into, like, normal size. This is the maternity maxi dress that I got from Pink Blush. I really love the way that it looks. Um, I think this might be the one that I wear at my shower. It's a little bit long. I know you can't see it, but slightly long. I might have it hemmed or just deal with the length, but it is just so comfortable. Um, and I just really love it. Here is the fourth one. Um, I like it. I think I like the other one better. It has these really cute ruffles at the top and there's a little ruffle at the bottom. So I am making some pop tarts right now. I love pop tarts um, and I just, I, I have tried some pop tarts at Rafa, the coffee place that we always are at um, and they're just so amazing and they're made from scratch and so I decided I wanted to make some from scratch. So. The chef that makes every all of the food at Rafa has a blog, and so I've kind of taken my own version of her 
Pop-Tarts and I'm gonna make them because I thought like what better than homemade Pop-Tarts to eat on a plane. I've rolled out some of the dough and here is enough for four Pop-Tarts. I have a little bit, little some scraps and then some from the other day. So I'm hoping to maybe get two more Pop-Tarts, hopefully. I use a pizza cutter to help keep the line straight. Some people use like measuring tape or a ruler, but I don't know. I don't even have a ruler. <laughs> these out of the oven. Now I'm going to take some pictures of these for my blog. I'm back in these overalls again. Um, I just took a shower and I have not finished packing. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is just finish packing tomorrow and I want to show you guys that so I will continue this vlog tomorrow. Um, and then you guys will be able to see exactly what I've packed. So here are my two bags that I'm going to take with me. I have this Fjall Raven backpack that I really love. Um, and it just fits a ton of stuff in it. I've been able to fit like five days worth of clothes in it before. And then I have my away suitcase here. I really love this as well. It has a phone charger. Um, in this top compartment right here. Um, I took out the battery, but it can charge my phone, um, I think like five times or so. Like, so if I were to get stuck in an airport, that's pretty handy. I am just packing my toiletries now. I like to kind of go through uh, my toiletries like way, like at least a day before I actually leave for my trip just to make sure that I have everything that I need and that it's like packed the way that I want to pack it because I try to pack like everything from like toothbrushes, shampoo, makeup, hairbrush, deodorant, all in here. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have so far. Something that's really important to me when I travel is that I'm able to use my regular um, like shampoo and face wash and stuff and so I usually try to buy like either travel sizes of them or what I've started doing is I bought these little tiny containers um, and then I put like my face wash in them so this is what it looks like and I can just fill it up so I use this little um, label maker <laughs> it costs like five dollars from Amazon um, I'll link it below and I just use that. Um, I have one that for my face lotion. It's a, I know it's spelled wrong. <laughs> I did it on purpose because it doesn't fit on on here. So, but that's how I that's how I can take with me um, my like day to day use stuff. Cause you're like your body's already like funky from traveling, and your skin is weird, and like adding a new a new hair product or skin product in addition to that. I just feel like I'd rather just have my my go-to's. So, so I have my face wash, my face moisturizer lotion, and then this is my after shower conditioner. Um, I I use that after every single shower. It's the it's a ten um, after conditioner. Um, I have my Primally Pure deodorant. I um I have a code to so you can get 15% off of that. I will link that down below, but I believe it's um, Insight is my code. Um, I'll put all the information below. Um, I have extra contacts. Um, I have in here in this little pouch. I have all of my hair ties. I have some bobby pins and like some little um, clear hair bands. Have my toothbrush, my toothpaste, um, shampoo and conditioner, and then as far as makeup, I try to limit like brushes. So I have three main ones. Um, I have my 
foundation brush, my contour brush, and then eyeshadow brush. Probably won't be wearing tons of makeup there, but um, I'd like to have the option. Um, then I have my mascara. I have my foundation and moisturizers and concealer. I have my little beauty blender and my contact case and then um, my brow liner and eyeliner. So all of that fits together in here. Oh, and then my little baby hairbrush. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in this bag. I love these bags, I have a million of them. Um, I really like the, bl the brand Glossier and um, they, every time you order with them, they give you one of these bags. <laughs> They're just so perfect for traveling. I love having like all of my things organized into bags like this. So I use them for all kinds of random stuff. So I'm gonna pop everything back in here now. Okay, so I have laid out on my bed everything that I am packing in that away suitcase. Um, here is the top view. Um, there's really not a lot this time. I'm kind of surprised. So here is my pile of clothes. I'm going to go ahead and talk you through everything. Um, in the back here I have a scarf and gloves. I know it's not going to it's not going to be too cold there. Um, it's supposed to be like mid 40s, 50s and sunny. So I may not even need these at all, but one thing I've realized about being pregnant is that comfort is so much higher on my priority list than it was before. Um, so that might be reflected in some of my choices here. So scarf and gloves. Um, and then I have my toiletries bag, which I talked to you through before. And then some, some trips I try to plan outfits for each day since everything in my wardrobe pretty much goes together at least this time i've just decided to bring enough shirts and pants to go together we don't have like fancy things that we're doing i just try to bring things that i can kind of dress up or dress down if i need to so i'll talk you through the pants first so here's my little stack these are my lounge pants uh, slash PJs um, and then I have two pairs of leggings I'll be wearing a pair of leggings on the plane and then I have two pairs of jeans I have my pile of shirts you can see the theme of neutrals <laughs> I might I might uh, wear this yellow one on the plane I'm not sure um, so I have just this is like a long comfy striped shirt Oh, this is a little gray t-shirt. I usually wear that one to bed. This is like a three-quarter length um, long uh, shirt. Then I have this striped shirt that's also long sleeves. And then this is more of like a sweater. So honestly, like everything here can go with all of these jeans. I will probably wear my peacoat. This peacoat isn't going to go in my suitcase, but... This will probably be the only jacket that I bring. Since the weather isn't going to be super cold, I'm not going to bring my snow jacket. Next, I have all of my shoes. So I have Converse, Nikes, and then ankle boots. Um, I'm probably going to wear these on the plane because it's the most comfortable. And I know I'm going to be walking around quite a bit. So I probably will wear these more than any of my other shoes. I also have slippers here. Here I have all of my like tech stuff that I'm wearing. So I have this is full of my chargers and like converters and stuff for Amsterdam. Then I have the, well, you are currently on a tripod right now, but my tripod will be in this bag and then I have a little baby tripod as well. And, and here I have my underwear, my socks, my bras, and like an undershirt. Here's everything all packed up on this side. I mainly have my shoes and my tech and then my scarf and gloves and then my toiletries. Um, and so this is nice. It just zips up really easily. Harder with just one hand, but um, 
There we go. And then on this side, I have all my clothes. Um, this suitcase is really nice. It has these little tabs for you to pull it tight. I really didn't even fill this up nearly as much as I could. Plus, I can fill in a bunch of stuff in here if I feel like it. But right now, I feel like this is good for me. Um, so, that's... I'm all packed up. That's everything. And there's Dwight sleeping. I am about to pack up my carry-on. This is the bag that I use. I love it because I can fit everything I need and more in it. Um, so here is everything that's going to be in my carry-on and I'll go ahead and talk you through that. My laptop. I'm planning on working a little bit while I'm over there. Not a lot, but enough to where I'd like to have my laptop. Next, I have my water bottle. I take this everywhere with me as it is, and so definitely leaving the country, I'm gonna want lots and lots of water. So this will definitely come with me. This is my um, battery charger that came with my Away suitcase. So this I like to keep in my carry-on because then I can just grab it and not have to pull down my big carry-on luggage. And then I have my bus pass, some cough drops because my throat gets sore sometimes. I have my AirPods. I have my Zambezi chapstick, the lemongrass flavor. I have my gum. I have my little pack of chargers. I have a big pack in my suitcase. But this is for the things I would put on that battery charger you saw. Um, then I have my sunglasses, headphones. Jared actually just gave me these. Um, these are his old ones and he got some Bluetooth ones. These ones are really good for video editing and they are also semi noise canceling. So these will be perfect for the plane. So then I brought my reusable cup that I talked about in a blog post. I'll link that below. This little bag has chopsticks and a straw. <laughs> um, I really love this bag. It's just the perfect size and it's just so easy to slip in with me. Like I don't know for sure if I'm going to need this, but if it doesn't weigh much, might as well just throw it in there. Then I have my favorite granola bars. These are the Luna chocolate peppermint stick. They aren't super healthy and there's some sugar in there, but they taste really good. And when I'm when I'm really hungry, these are really perfect. These are Trader Joe's fruit and nuts, little bites. And then I have some gummy bears. And then these I've been so excited about. I made these Pop-Tarts yesterday. And um, they're just gonna be so great to have on the plane. Like airplane food usually sucks. And so it's nice to have something like extra special with, on the plane with me. This is a towel. Um, that I got from the Bali market. It's nice and thin, as you can see, and it kind of looks like a blanket. And honestly, it can, it can really be like a blanket, it can be a scarf, it can be a pillow, it can be a towel. Um, I've never regretted bringing this with me. I get cold on planes and sometimes they don't have blankets. And I just like to have my own. Um, and so I bring this with me if I have room and I do this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, comment with any questions and if there's any types of videos that you would really like to see from me, please comment below and I will try the best that I can to get those filmed for you.